Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. Sequel to the interview granted the Federal Government Council in the case of Mazinam de Kanu, uh, there had been a lot of uproar. You know, in the interview, um, Shoibu Labaran opened up about what Mazinam de Kanu said when he was asked the question if he is a member of IPOP. The reaction or the statement made by um, Federal Government Council has caused a lot of reaction right away. If you check our feed, you are going to see the video, exactly what he said. Uh, but right now, some other person has come up to debunk that statement made by the Federal Government Council, talking about Shaibo uh, Labaran. And you're going to hear the person, uh, it's actually the lawyer of Mazinam Dekano. We're going to be hearing his own position in respect to that statement made by the Federal Government Council. But before we go into full details, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by hitting on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, if I knew a job for the Mazinam Dikanu's lawyer had said that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipom Nam Dikanu, never denied being the leader of the Igbo nationalist organization while taking his plea at a federal high court in Abuja on Wednesday. According to the lawyer, the clarification became necessary because of what he described as deliberate misrepresentation, struck falsehood, and wrong narratives being perpetuated by some mischief makers and gaining prominence in the social media. Ejofo said this in a statement on Thursday title, Unyendu Mazinam Dikanu never denied being the leader of IPOP. Let the record be set straight. According to him, it was pertinent to provide clarification and clear the doubts in the minds of Nigerians. He said that S.M. Labaran Esquire, who stood in yesterday for Director of Public Prosecution of the Federation, is a colleague I hold in high esteem, but I shall resist every mischievous ploy being adopted to misinform the unsuspecting members of the public who were not privy to the details of the proceedings in court yesterday with a wrong and mischievous interpretation of the purport of the purported of the purport of the plea taken by our indefatigable client Onyendu Mazinam de Kanu. For the records, Onyendu Mazinam de Kanu never denied being the leader of IPOP, which taking his plea, but only stoutly denied the fact that IPOP is a terrorist organization and that being its leader is an offense, which position is well informed. Member of the public should be well guided that the status of the black market order Proscribing IPOP is a subject of appeal in appeal number CA stroke A stroke 214 stroke 2018, pending before the Court of Appeal, Abuja Division. That being said, that it is only laughable that the federal government of Nigeria, in their desperate but futile attempt to give a dog a bad name in order to hang it, brought a charge bordering on the status of IPOP, a subject matter of a competent appeal where issues have been joined with the same federal government. Therefore, be properly guided, Umo Chineke, because we have sufficiently addressed the emptiness of that count and entire charge in our compelling su submissions before the court now adjoined to here on february 16 2022 we do not wish to dwell further on this subject but be rightly informed that onion dumas in Kanu never denied being the leader of ipo while taking his plea yesterday hmm. 
Now, for those of us who may not understand, you know, the content of this writer, because it's a little bit very technical. You know, lawyers, now when they write, it's sometimes difficult to comprehend uh, the real meaning. Now, the bottom line is this, that Mazinam Dekanu never denied being the leader of IPOP. But what he denied was actually that name before IPOP, that name which Nigeria has given to it before IPOP. He, what, according to the lawyer, what he's trying to say is that Mazinam de Kanu is not a member of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, that he's not a leader or he's not a member of a terrorist group called IPOP. He's not a member of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, but he is a member or an or leader of indigenous um, people of Biafra. I don't know if you get my point. He is a, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, but not the leader of proscribed. In other words, he is not accepting that name proscribed because according to the lawyer, the case we have, according to him, he said that they have appealed the case in that the appeal of this case of uh, proscription is still in court you know it's still pending in appeal court it is yet to be addressed in other words they have refused to accept that the organization is uh, you know a terrorist organization no that they, they can't accept that so Mazin Amrikano is his response was to also send that info out that it is you people that believe that it is proscribed but for us we refuse to accept it. This is our position. And I will stand to defend that, that I am not the leader of any terrorist organization, but I am only a leader of IPOP. That's what I, I deduce from, you know, what Ifanyi Ejofo said. So he's just trying to clear the air because um, this guy was trying to use that to throw in confusion in the camp of... Uh, uh, IPOP, you know, and all of that. And I, I think that's also the reason why uh, whenever it's time to go to court or whenever it's time to do anything, uh, Mazin Amikano will tell his people, conduct yourself, prove that we are just a nationalist organization. Prove that we are a freedom-fighting organization. We've got nothing to do with anything called uh, terrorism and all of that. And I, I think that will also help in... Uh, you know, cancelling some of the things that have been brought up against him. You understand? Uh, but uh, the federal government council had to, you know, bring that in to see how he can sway some people away from it. However, good clarification. And, you know, that's why it's very important when issues like that come up, someone should swiftly run in to preserve or to cancel it so that it would not begin to register some negativity, you know, into the hearts of many people and also this is uh, an info this info it's uh, kind of sending it out so that uh, whoever that is carrying himself in the light of you know an organization that is causing terror in nigeria they've got to they have to stop if you are doing anything that is terror you're not a part of this organization we do not recognize you and all of that maybe that's also the reason why they sometimes have to go into civil disobedience of staying back at home, which does not cause anybody harm. You understand? So that's just it. If any Jafo has done um, so much good to clarify that, because already, even in our previous post, I've seen a lot of people arguing from left and right. But that's the bottom line, because at least he was the guy who was inside. So, you know, this whole prosecution stuff is not uh, public. So the people inside can help to correct that notion here and there. That's where we like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. What's